Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome. It is Thrift Shop Day. In the US, it's National Thrift Shop Day, the 17th of August. And I decided it should be International Thrift Shop Day, another wacky make do 2022, hosted by Laura at Mad Mimi's Farming and Crochet. So, International Thrift Shop Day. I'm going to tell you a bit of research I've done on Thrift Shop Day. Thrift Shop Day is all about supporting local thrift shops or charity shops and raising awareness for charitable organisations. Thrift shops aim to help those vulnerable in communities and give back to the needy. Known by a myriad of other names, thrift shops are also referred to by many names. Now, I often call them charity shops. Some people call them goodwill stores and some people call them hospice shops. Volunteers willingly usually work at these shops, often sorting through donated items people drop off. So they're generally manned by volunteers, especially here in Australia, even the service people. Those used pieces are often sold to the public, providing those in need a convenient service at an affordable price. So pre-loved items. So in support of Ship Thrift Shop Day, I decided I needed to sort through my um, wardrobe, the unworn clothes, I have mountains of them, and donate them to a local thrift shop. It's For me, it was a worthwhile exercise because I decluttered some of my wardrobe, but I barely put a dent in it, and I have filled a black garbage bag, of which I'll put a photo at the end. I did take a photo before I dropped it off. I often visit charity shops or thrift shops to see what pre-loved items I can find and repurpose them, be creative with them or reuse them rather than keep going out and buying new because a lot of this stuff can end up in a landfill. We have a phenomenal amount of clothes that end up in landfill in Australia and I want to do something about that to reduce it. So on one of my visits to the thrift shop or charity shop, I found some pre-loved yarn that wasn't used. And I really thought this was a bargain. No idea what I would reuse it for until recently. So I found a bag of four of, I think it's Karen Simply Soft Camo in the Woodland color. Woodland Camo, this color. Four new balls with ball bands in a bag for $8 at the charity shop. Now here, these were selling $9 a ball. So you work out the bargain. Brand new, smelt fine, no, so I bought it with no idea in mind what I was going to do. Well, in another video, I'll tell you why. But we're suddenly going on a holiday to a much colder place. And Thing picked this out because this was a colorway he liked and he said it would match his bush tracker beanie. I could have made him a matching beanie, but he loves his bush tracker beanie. And this is what he picked. And then he picked out a pattern for what he wanted me to use it for. And it is called, and I think it's very old, Dicky. And you see that there. It's a cowl that sits inside the jacket flap. And yes, that's what he wanted. It's knitted pattern. So, of course, I'll just make sure. Here is the finished object. I have made it. I'll take a photo of him wearing it. Now, I've adapted this pattern because I thought the actual bit at the front was quite short. And I've actually added eight rows. And the shoulders were quite narrow. And I've added an extra five stitches. Trust me, I can never stick to a free pattern. If I was to make this again, I would make it longer again. I still think it's too short. But he loved this yarn because it's lovely and soft. He is allergic to wool. And yeah, it's acrylic, but it's beautiful and soft. And he loves it. And he thinks it's not a bad match to his bush tracker beanie. So there will be photos at the end. So that was my thrift shop bargain. I only probably picked up the yarn about two weeks ago. And yeah, he, when he went through my stash, he went, oh, I want this. 
So this is a free pattern on Ravelry. I'm trying to see who it's by. doesn't really say. I have a feeling it might be an old Lion Brand pattern. It takes two balls, and as you can see, I had four, and the way I knitted it, because I did do it different, I've probably got just about two and a, or one and a three quarters left, because there are those bits. Because what I did was, you knit the two sides separate, and you sew the shoulder seams together. Well, I didn't. I picked up stitches and knitted the shoulder seams together. But yeah, he really loves it. So that was my thrift shop bargain. It's been washed. The yarn, look, when you get pre-loved yarn from a charity shop, always smell it, that it's been stored and it's in a nice place because some can be really smelly. And there was one lot of yarn that I bought I could not get the smell out of. And I ended up just getting rid of it because it was terrible smell. But yeah, pre-loved yarn at a charity shop. So that's one of the things I have done. Now, I've set myself a challenge for Thrift Shop Day. I've decided I am going to buy and collect eight ply or three weight pure wool yarn with a project in mind when I have enough. Now, this is some red yarn, um, pure wool um, heritage yarn that I had left over. But in here is some yarn I have bought from a charity shop. Now, this is probably vintage yarn, holiday pure wool. And I paid 50 cents a ball for two in this colour. We never have colour names here. It used to be like $2 a ball way back when. The labels are really old, you can see. But yeah, pure wool, eight ply in navy. Smells fine. And in the same box was this one, which is actually country silk eight ply, pure wool by Clit Heaton. This was probably about $5 a ball in its day, and I got these for 50 cents a ball. So as you can see right now, it's going to be navy blues and a bit of red. But I am going to store, stock up on 8-ply pure wool yarns only found at charity shops for this project. Now I'm keeping them in this airy holy bag to help air them out, but they have no smell. Um, but you never know. So that's my challenge, is to keep shopping at charity or thrift shops, finding 8-ply pure wool till I have enough for the project I plan to make. Um, what else have I been up to? So if you can explore your local thrift shop and charity shop and see what you can find in pre-loved yarn or pre-loved items that you can repurpose or do something with. So... Because of that, I'm going to do, yet again, Secondhand September AU. We did it last year, and I thought, with this in mind, being a thrift shop day, we could do it again. So get out there and try out your thrift shops or charity shops. Find something, take a photo before, and repurpose it, and take a photo after. Post them on Instagram with hashtag secondhand september au or in our facebook group page or send me a picture of your photo there'll be a 25 dollars gift voucher up for grabs it's just a small make along some participant will be picked at random to um, win the gift voucher so get out there and have a look maybe it's something at home you already have that you want to repurpose just take a photo before and show me what you make it into for secondhand September AU. Let's reduce our weight, reduce our wastage, and let's not put quite so much into landfill. Be so quite disposable. That's why I like secondhand September. Um, I think it's run by Oxfam in the UK, and they encourage you to go to charity shops and buy clothes or donate clothes for people to buy, which is what I am doing. So all the usual YouTube rules apply. You must be 18 years of age to over or 18 or over to enter. I'll have a list of all the rules in the description below. It will close at 1159 
Eastern Standard Time Australia on the 30th of September and I will try and do a draw sometime around the 1st of October for the participant prize draw. So come on, get out there, have some fun looking at charity shops and seeing what you can repurpose or remake and pre-love for secondhand September celebrating 17th of August International Thrift Shop Day. I love a good thrift shopping and in the next video I'll tell you where we'll be thrift shopping. Thing and I will be having a look, no doubt about it. Take care, stay safe and remember repurpose, recycle. It's always good. Bye for now.